Good morning. Welcome back, everybody. Angela and I are making our adjustments to our water problems on our dredge. And we're going to get into uh, cleaning up our concentrates. All right, we put this piece back on here. We put a piece of hose on here to kind of angle our water so it shoots down in here. Hopefully this will cure our uh, splashing out problem. And just working on getting a clamp loosened up so we can put a clamp on it. So one of our mats here, we're peeling up and there's a bunch of dirt underneath it. So Andrew's rinsing it out and getting it in a pan right now. We're going to pan out see if there's any gold trapped underneath the mats. And we'll probably clean this all up and re-glue our mats down in there. I'm going to get going on separating out our concentrates from yesterday. We're going to classify all our material down. And Andrew's still playing with the high banker, trying to get it cleaned up real nice. See if there's any gold hiding underneath that mat. Brush clean water. Uh, you're on this side, you can have that side. Okay. Water a little bit better. Alright, we're going to screen down all of our concentrates from yesterday and work out all the big stuff. Get her all screened down. Basically screening everything down to 10 mesh. And just kind of look through it. Okay. I'll do that. I'm going to grab my kick down. Okay. There we go. I'll just like to get the footers when we go in here. Classified down to plus 10 mesh and minus 10 mesh. Right, so we're going to take this, rinse the water, kind of rinse the muddiness out of it, and I'm going to classify it down to a well, kitchen strainer. It's probably 20 mesh or less. Probably right around 20, 20 or 30 mesh. And then we'll keep that stuff separated out. Well, now we're going to classify it down to kitchen strainer, and then I'm just going to put the plus 20 in there. The plus kitchen strainer size in there. And by classifying this all in different sizes, this helps us recover super, super fine gold, which is pretty much what we get around here. I find great. That thing has come in handy already. Huh? That thing has come in handy so much. Yeah. Just 
This was our plus 20 material, or plus kitchen strainer, I should say. Whoops, I just spilled a bunch of it. But we're gonna pan it down, see if there's anything in it. I'd like to go back to it again. Yeah, we're gonna run all this material so I can get it someday. So it's all inside our tub here, just in case. But I just spilled some, so oh, hopefully we didn't lose any gold. But if we did, oh well. We'll go through it again. No, we'll always double check before getting rid of it. Some days we're just tired and we can't see it. But this stuff, should, this stuff should pan pretty easy for us. It's all, it should be pretty close to the exact same size, so if there's anything in it, it should go straight to the bottom. I think I just seen a hundred mesh. Did you? Yeah. So what size do you have your thing? What thing? Uh, for your blue bowl. Uh, that's mine's kitchen strainer, so it's probably minus uh, 20 or 30 mesh. So it's just more in there. Because I'm going to add your, I'm going to add a little No, don't put that in there. Okay. I don't want to mix that in there. I want to run that separate from the blue bowl. Okay. That'll work. That's, yeah, minus kitchen strainer. Everything, everything that went through the kitchen strainer, what that is. Yeah, it wasn't worth it. Oh yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Yeah, right, we're getting down to pretty much nothing, so we're gonna take a quick look here. Right. Let's see if you got better luck than I did. I don't know if there's gonna be anything in this. This is all. What? Uh, is this from the mats that we used? I think we put the panning tub on the rollers. So let's see if I can maybe angle the camera just a little bit up. Get the camera to angle it a little bit. It's dark in here. Not too much. I can't see anything. No, I, just, I don't expect there to be much in here, but we'll take a quick peek. And I'm going to do it under the light because I can't really see in it. It's very dark in here. But I don't see no gold. It's right offhand. But I want to look under an umbrella light. We got our blue bowl set up here. We're going to start putting a little bit of material in it. Just kind of run it around here, see how it looks in there. I'll let that kind of just clean itself out slowly. See if we see any gold falling out. I see a speck of something right there already. It doesn't look like it's moving very much. It's cleaning good, nice and slow. No, that's moving, it's not gold. Kind of run our fine materials real slow. There's a speck of gold right there. I see one, two, three pieces of gold. Yeah, we'll get this ran through here and then we'll uh, go for a little drive. Get out of the house, get out of the shop for a little bit. Sounds good. We'll go do a little prospecting trip. Alright, I'm going to finish running this and then we'll take a look when I get done. We are pretty much done. We ran all that bowl of our finds. We're going to snuff her up what I got left around the edge here. And I'm just going to pan it out by hand so I can do it under the light and see it real close. Take my time with it. There might be small finds in there, just I can't see it right now. Oh, the dogs are barking about. Huh? Your dogs barking. I don't know what they're barking about. Mm. A lot of dirt. Yeah, that's gonna be a lot to pan out, but it's a lot less than we had. Yeah.
That's great. Wham, wham, Keep crying about it. Wham, wham, wham. There's no gold in my dirt. My pants and my boobles crying about it. Yeah. I think I need a bigger, bigger, wow. bigger snuffer bottle. For this, yeah. A nice little piece right there, so I get through the rest of this black sand. Nice ruby rock in there. It's kind of neat looking. There is one little piece right there, so we'll keep going and see if we find any more. All right, this is what we got. A few pieces there. Yeah, a piece right there. It's kind of got some rust on it. Another piece there. Well, that's what we got. It's not better or nothing. Yep. Kind of fun just to find it. Mm-hmm. We did get gold. I say we triple this now. I hope we do. Little piece to here. Mm-hmm. Oop, get too close to the camera, it loses its focus. It can't this camera doesn't focus real well. It doesn't focus as soon as you get too close. Oh. That's the best we can do. Oh, yeah. So I get the glare of the light off there. Maybe. Alright, that's it. That's what we got so far. Looking pretty good. What we can see. That's what we have so far we've collected over the years. Mm hmm And nice little trunker there. Nice looking gold. Oh yeah. Can't even get stuff to move around the pan. Yeah, there you go. We've well, got a little bit to add to our vial now. There we go. That's our gold so far. Mm -hmm. Let's see, we fill this up with concentrates now. We're getting there. All right, Andrew and I got some permission to come out here and test the pan on a crick. Maybe do some dredging later on in the future. Mm -hmm. But we're going to come down through here, check out this crick, and test pan, see if we find any flakes of gold, and see if it might be an option to come back to. All right, we got a little pan of dirt. I'm going to sift this out and see if we can't, see if there's anything in it. I can't do it and hold the camera, so if I get anything, I'll show you guys here in a minute. Well, the camera's almost dead. Andrew's trying to do a little bit of panning, but we haven't found much in this crick yet. But we might still come back with the dredge one day and just try it out a little bit. A lot of black sand, but we haven't found much for gold. Well, probably see you guys in the next video. This camera's just about dead. <laughs>